Greetings. I'm Dr. Gary Schoenrock, practicing dentist in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, as part of uh, me giving back to uh, dentistry, I do a lot of lecturing every year on simplified dental techniques, old crown and bridge, cosmetic dentistry, and materials and techniques are making wonderful strides these days, making things ever more practical and ever more comfortable for our patients. But what I always tell the folks that I lecture to is that patients really don't realize what good dentistry is or bad, but they sure do know one thing, when they're being hurt. And I think this video will show you a little bit about how to buffer your local anesthetics, how to keep them from being so acidy when they're being injected. And the advantages of that is there's much less discomfort involved. Also, the onset is quicker, and it seems to be more profound. So if you'll watch this movie that I have here, I think you'll get a little insight about how to do this cheaply and how to do this very effectively in your own dental practice. Now, as I said in the intro, you can put as many flat screen TVs up as you want, as many saltwater aquariums you can advertise, you can have the best, closest margins on your crowns, but the most bang for your buck is to learn how not to hurt your patients, both before and after your treatment. Now, pH, in this case, acidity of local anesthetic solutions, is a primary factor in painful injections. Take lemon juice, for example, 3.3% pH. Look at that. Lidocaine, 3.9%, not much better than lemon juice to inject. Woo! Septicane, 3.65%, and mepivacaine, 6.55%. Eh, pretty close to 7, but mepivacaine doesn't last too long. So let's buffer our local anesthetics. Let's get them working for us. Better comfort, faster onset. Now, there's a couple ways to do this. On Pharma makes a complete kit consisting of a stainless steel pen, and carpules of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate. It's an all-inclusive kit, simple, very effective. Now the cons, look at the cost of the system. My gosh, $633 plus $232 for four sodium bicarbonate carpules, and they only recommend you use one a day. 10 bucks per injection or You can do it yourself. Materials, all you need is a multi-dose vial of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate, 50 mils of runny 4229, and 100 insulin syringes with the needle, $20.99. My gosh, that only translates into 11 cents per use. Does this seem like a fun way to go? Watch this demo. For this demonstration, we'll be using two standard insulin syringes, two carpules of 2% lidocaine with 1 to 100,000 epinephrine and a standard multi-dose vial of 8.4% sodium bicarbonate. To prepare the carpules for receiving the buffering solution, remove 0.15 mil of lidocaine from each carpule. This can be done way ahead of time. Now with the second insulin syringe, remove 0.15 mil of sodium bicarbonate from the multi-dose vial. More can be withdrawn if more carpules are to be prepared. Remember that you must not buffer the carpules more than two minutes before the injection is given. Now, two minutes before the injection is to be given, inject 0.15 mil of the buffering solution into a carpule of lidocaine from which previously 0.15 mil of lidocaine was removed. Shake the carpule gently, then load in your standard aspirating syringe and inject as per usual. 